Cincinnati, head coach Tommy Tuberville. The Bearcats are 1-1 one one overall. Um, last week they played Illinois. Illinois won the game 45-17 to on Saturday. Uh, this week, Cincinnati uh, is at home at Nippert Stadium against Northwestern State on Saturday. That will be a 7 p.m. start and will be on ESPN3. Uh, coach, thanks for joining us on the call. If you could take a minute to wrap up the game against Illinois uh, and then tell us what you're looking forward to back on the field against Northwestern State, please. Yeah, we've got a lot of work to do uh, after last week's setback. <clears throat> We found out uh, more of our strengths and weaknesses. Had two hard games back to back against two Big Ten teams, and disappointed how we, not how we, uh, our participation, but just how we played mentally. We we played hard, but uh, we made way too many mistakes. We doubled our mistakes from the week before, so we dug ourselves a hole and we couldn't get out of it. And uh, when you go on the road, uh, that's tough to do. So look forward to this week. Play questions for Coach Tuberville, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue. The operator will introduce you. Star one for questions, please. And we can go ahead with our first question. And the question is from Tom Groshen with the Cincinnati Inquirer. Hi, Coach. Um, I wanted to see if you had any injury update with uh, with Munchie and other people, such as uh, Tremere Orr, I guess, went out the other day. No, both are still being evaluated. We know that Munchie's injury, and but both are being evaluated in terms of uh, uh, the seriousness of it and uh, getting MRIs and CAT scans and all those things. So uh, uh, both Trenier Orr and Munchie will be obviously uh, uh, out for this week, and we'll just see what uh, what transpires through the week. Have you? Uh, it's still soon. I know. But have you made a decision on who you, if you might move somebody else from another position to quarterback as we talked yesterday? No, not yet. We, uh, we're still, that's in the developing stages. We're, you know, big thing is we do have two quarterbacks. Uh, Benny Coney will move from three to two. And uh, we're just deciding now what direction we'll go in number three. And hopefully, uh, you know, we don't have this problem again. But, uh, you know, these do happen. And, and uh, we do have some young guys in the background. We'll have to move one up. I'll ask another one, I guess. Coach, uh, what do you recall from playing Northwestern State? I believe you played them last year at Texas Tech. I guess they have a new staff, but what can you tell us about them? Uh, you know, I grew up not too far from Northwestern State. They've always played uh, very good football. It's home of Bobby Bear, former quarterback. It uh, uh, played there and then played for the Saints. But they, uh, they'll be hard-nosed. Uh, they run the same scheme offensively as what I ran the last three years at uh, Texas Tech. They go very fast. They throw the ball probably 70% of the time. They've got some good wide receivers. Their quarterback is very mobile. Uh, defensively, they uh, very similar to what we do, four-man front. Uh, attacking defense, we'll see a lot of blitzes. And it'd be a, it'd be a, a very good uh, challenge for us. Uh, just something very different than what we've seen uh, for our defense, so we've got to adjust as we go there, and then of course uh, uh, be some carryover for our offense in terms of uh, going against our defense. But it should be good. They're undefeated, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, playing back home at Nippert. Do you? How, how do you bounce? How do you bounce back from a game like that after you win by 35 and you lose by 28? Uh, I'm not sure if you've had that in your career. I'm guessing you probably have. But how do you how do you respond? How does the team bounce back from something like that? Well, whether you win or you lose, you look at the film and you look for the positives and you look at the negatives and you look at the things that you can get better and make your strength stronger and your weakness stronger. And uh, we've got a lot of both. Uh, we there were some areas that were very good, and then there were some areas that were very poor, uh, both on the mental and the physical side. Again, we've got to move some guys around because of because of injuries, and that slows you down a little bit just for experience purposes. But we're not a very experienced team anyway, and so every time we practice or play a game, we'll get better. So we've got two more non-conference games and a week off, and then we get ready for conference play. So we uh, uh, we need to get better. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Uh, to 
have an opportunity down the stretch. But there's a there was a lot of bright points in this game, and uh, a lot of guys have played better than they did the week before. The, some of the younger guys. So uh, we look forward to seeing if we get better this week. We'll go next to Joe Kay with the Associated Press, Cincinnati. Hey, Tommy, how are you? Good morning. Just wondering, is Brendan's shoulder healthy enough that he can go through a full week of practice and do everything he needs to do to get ready for the game? Yeah, you know, last week was the first time he went the entire week. And uh, I'd say going into last week's game, he was 95 to 100%. And uh, yesterday we had a short practice, and he threw with some of the younger quarterbacks. And he looked real good. Um, he's fine. He's ready to go. He, he played playing last week. Uh, he had no problems. So uh, it'll be a concern as we go. But our schedule sets up pretty good. We go two weeks in open date and then a couple more games and another open date. And so there's going to be a time in there and a pretty good break with a Wednesday game and a Friday game that we'll be able to give him some rest. So uh, really not concerned now because we – I thought to our trainers and our doctors handling pretty well for the last month of not doing a whole lot. He only played, what, 40 plays in the in the first two games and uh, didn't get hit that much. So uh, he's ready to go. He's, he's fired up, excited, and looking forward to getting back to the starting position. Thanks, Tommy. Yes, sir. We'll take our next question from Rontina McCann with ESPN. Hey, Coach, yesterday on your call you had said that one of the things once you wanted as soon as he got settled in the hospital was his cell phone because he wanted to be connected and check text messages and social media. How have you seen that maybe help your players over the years because you've been coaching well before those existed um, and maybe helping their spirits or, you know, getting the players maybe didn't get to visit him, but he got to hear from them immediately? Oh, I think it's a huge advantage for communication. There's no doubt about that. I think we've all found that out uh, from, uh, you know, I've, I've got 110 kids here, and uh, they, got, they all have got my phone number, and I've got theirs, and, and uh, you know, I do get calls from them. And, but it was good that, you know, that uh, once he was able to get his phone and start texting his teammates and his friends, people that care about him, and so that's a, very, that's a positive. Now, there's also negatives, and, uh, you know, to – to the, to the social media. We all know those. But if it's used correctly, uh, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something that uh, has really changed all of our lives. And sometimes you go around now wondering how we got to, we, we live without it. But uh, it's, it's something that's going to continue to even grow. And all of our young, young people, they've grown up with it. And they know how to work them. They know how to get the most out of them. And it's as I tell our players, it's, it's very important to communicate with people other than a cell phone. Uh, talking to people, uh, I, I don't let them, I, I let them take them on trips with us, but uh, they can't come out of their rooms. They've got to talk to their teammates at meals and they have to talk to their teammates on buses or the airplane or whatever. So I think that's important that you do have some rules and regulations where you, where you, uh, uh, don't let them continuously use them. But for that situation Saturday, it was, uh, it was a big help to, to Munchie just to get his mind off what was going on just bit so he could relax a little bit and, and confer with a lot of his friends. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. I'll see you this weekend. Thank you. Coach, we thank you for the time this week. We look forward to talking to you next Monday. Thank you. All right, and that is Cincinnati coach Tommy Tuberville. The Bearcats in action Saturday against Northwestern State uh, at Nippert Stadium. That will be a 7 p.m. start on ESPN3.